Well, we're definitely looking forward to next week where we can finally uh, maybe bring these kids together for the first time. Uh, we've spent the first month of, of the school year getting in shape and getting adjusted back to the classroom and really trying to establish some, some good habits uh, in terms of our lifestyle and the kids have done a great job. So uh, probably most looking forward to just seeing this new group of players mesh together, uh, developing some of those relationships that are so critical on the field, uh, definitely in the locker room for sure. Uh, last year's group left such a, a positive impact on everyone that's back this year that uh, we're really going to miss some of those guys. So looking to see who the, the new personalities are and, and where the new leadership will emerge after losing some really uh, special people from our group uh, is something I'm really looking forward to because I think there's tremendous leadership potential in the locker room based on the guys we have coming in and certainly the guys coming back and we really like the talent of the first year players that uh, are going to join up with returning guys so uh, a lot to learn a lot to do certainly a tremendous amount of work ahead of us but excited to, to finally bring the team together next week and, and start our official practice for the fall. Well, leadership for me is definitely the, the critical ingredient to every successful team. And, and you mentioned some, some fine kids coming back, uh, starting with Gage, who's got uh, a lot of experience here. He's been a, a first-rate player in the conference and, and has leadership qualities. Talk about Donovan Walton, who's just been super, super steady and awfully, awfully good in his two years here. We're really lucky to have such a dependable piece of a winning team in Donovan. Uh, Tim Marakawa is a fantastic piece to, to play alongside him. Uh, you've got some returners on the mound and John Perrin, who had a fine year for us last year. And you look across at some other guys, some guys like Connor Costello that can take another step forward with his game. Brian Case, who played well down the stretch last year. Uh, you look around, kids like Sluter and Dustin Williams and all those freshmen that, that had uh, good contributions to last year's club. Those guys are all a year older, uh, I think a year stronger and a year better in terms of their confidence. So. Uh, just a lot to look forward to and really some, some great personalities coming back that we can build around and, and some really talented new guys that uh, we can't wait to integrate into the group and, and really see those guys gain some comfort with each other and, and start to take off. Well, I like our, our first year players a lot. Uh, we've got some talented freshmen and some very uh, talented transfers as well. I think probably the thing that sticks out to me mostly about these kids is the size. We've got some very physical kids. There's some strength power. Uh, there's some real good foot speed in the group. And uh, some of the arms, there's some, there's some power arms in the group, but guys that can throw the ball up there uh, with a pretty, pretty firm fastball and a chance to have some, some real upside. So uh, very excited about the group. I think it's a super, super uh, projectable group in the, in the terms of where their bodies are at already. They're very physical kids for, for young ages, and the bodies project out to be very uh, strong kids over the course of their time here. So I like the talent, I like the makeup a lot. I think we've got good size. I think we've got a mix of some speed and power and, and I like the, the upside of some power arms. But I think when our fans get out and see these kids in the fall, get a chance to kind of associate some names and numbers, uh, they're gonna really enjoy the, the new look with some of the first year guys and, and how they blend in. And uh, it's a chance for new guys to emerge. We lost some really uh, tough players. We lost some, some go-to guys and uh, it's a chance for new people to step into those roles. and. That's always the fun part of what we do is who's going to be the next hero and who's going to be the next player of the year or the next stopper of the year or whatever the case may be. Uh, those opportunities are, are out there right now for us to fill. It's been a, it's been a blast. The first two years have been uh, a blur. It's gone by so fast and we've had so many great moments that we're, we're thankful for. Most thankful to the players for, for making these moments and to the fans for, for getting back behind us and helping us make Cowboy Baseball relevant and fun and something that uh, we can really be proud of. So. We're going the right direction. We're by no means where we want to be yet, but uh, I feel real good about this group. We've got a tremendous coaching staff. Very lucky to have kept our coaching staff together uh, to where we can really now know each other's uh, every move, if you will, after two years together. We, we teach and plan together so well now. So uh, just a real benefit to the overall growth of our program and we're very thankful to everyone that's helped make that possible. But as far as our goals for this year, we're just trying to get better every day. We don't, we don't really talk a whole lot about big picture goals right now. It's about getting into school and getting into the weight room and getting in shape physically so when we start fall practice, we're ready to take advantage of every day in front of us. And I think if we keep that mentality, that's, that's how we've gotten to this point to begin with. Uh, there's no slogans or things that we put out there that we try to live up to. We just try to get better. And uh, that's something our players seem to be able to, to grip on pretty, pretty tightly. And I think that's the identity of Oklahoma State. We're going to work hard every single day, and we're going to work together and work tough, and, and we're going to be better than when we woke up that morning. And if we can do that all year long, 
uh, hopefully this team continue to elevate who we are as a program.